Hi, this is Kim from KimberlyKohler.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a cute flower for scrapbooking or for other paper crafts. To make this cute flower, you need scissors, you need a brad, and you can either use um, brads that are made for scrapbooking or brads that you get from an office supply store, or you can use a button brad. Um, which, if you check out my videos, I show you how to make this really simple, cute brad. And you need tissue paper. You can either use regular tissue paper, or you can use an old pattern um, that uses the tissue paper, or a combination. To get started, you just need to cut circles into your tissue paper. So to do that, I just kind of fold the tissue paper into several layers because you can cut through several layers at a time. And then just cut a circle. Now I found that a layer of 12 of these circles makes a really cute flower. Um, but you can test that and try other numbers of layers to see how you like it. And I just cut them all the same. Um, size, but if you wanted more depth, you could add a smaller circle in the middle or several layers of smaller, or even um, just graduating up to a bigger size, and that would be really cute too. Okay. All right, so now just make sure that you have 12 layers of circles here, and then we want to find the middle of the circle. So to do that, I just usually fold it in half, and then fold them in half again. And then when you open them back up, <laughs> where the two folds intersect is the middle. And then you just punch the brad through the middle. Right. And sometimes you need to do this just a couple layers at a time. And alternatively, you could use an awl or something like that. And I just messed that one up because I did not put it in the middle. So we'll put those to the side and use the next few. And it, I mean, it truly doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the first ones that I poked through, though, was way off. All right. Then, to give this more texture and depth, really, you just scrunch up the tissue paper. And then just pull it back out. And then when you put it onto your paper, you're just going to fluff this out a little bit. So, so something like this, poke it through, and then you just flatten out the tabs on the back, and then you just fluff it up. Now, if you're going to be using this in a scrapbook that you're going to put in to one of those um, plastic sheet protectors, you're going to—it's going to end up being flat anyway. But you'll still get the the idea of the depth. And that is how quick and easy it is to make a flower. I wanted to show you just a couple of more samples. So this flower I made with just tissue paper and just using the exact steps I just showed you, and that's really cute. This one has both tissue paper and pattern paper, and I made the tissue paper in the middle smaller and that turned out really cute too. So there's a few examples for you and um, so go ahead and give it a try. Let me know how you make out. This is Kim from KimberlyKohler.com.